Hello guys! Hey. Today we are in Glacier National Park. Uh, we've been here for about four days and today we're doing our first real official hike. So it is Grinnell Glacier Lake hike. Yep. And we're gonna hike up, we don't even know, it's between like 10 and 14 miles. We honestly don't know the uh, main... There's like, a, there's like trail closures, so like it's adding and moving the trail around from the regular route. Yeah. So. I think it's gonna be like 14 miles. Probably, um, we're about two miles in. We have our monster that we just bought. Mm -hmm. The weather's beautiful. The bear spray. Yeah, we have our bear spray. There's slides everywhere that it's grizzly territory. So yeah, we'll show you guys along. All right, so right now, this is the detour that we're doing. We're basically walking around this huge, beautiful lake called Josephine Lake. And over there, all the way over there, that's essentially where the start of our hike is. So naturally we would have been hiking all across there, but it's closed for maintenance. So we have to go all around the lake, which is what we're doing right now. And that's what's adding the extra two miles. So then once we get there, that's when we'll officially start the 10 mile hike. But the lake is really beautiful. There is a ferry that can take us to that starting point, but it costs $40 per person, which is absurd. So we just chose to hike it. <laughs> All right, so we're about six months into our van life journey. And uh, we've done a bunch already. So much. And we've kind of slacked on making videos. <laughs> yeah. yeah, last video was in Arizona like four months ago. Yeah. Since then we have done Mexico. Hi. After Mexico, we were in California for about 10 weeks, which was amazing. We loved California, um, but we didn't vlog. Then we did Wyoming. Wyoming. Oh, yeah, on the way there, we, we did some Nevada, yeah. Idaho. Oh, we did a little bit of Idaho, yeah. Which uh, is cooler than you think. Yeah, probably gonna go back to Idaho. We didn't we didn't completely do it and we really liked it. Um, but now we're in Montana and I think Montana is probably the best so far. It's so beautiful. Yeah, so we're gonna be showing a little bit of a POV of doing the Grinnell Glacier Trail takes you all the way to a freezing cold just glacier you can swim lots of little mini icebergs and everything and yeah let's see if i <laughs> have the courage to swim in there <laughs> i can already tell i don't have the courage but... <laughs> i just didn't bring a bathing suit nope. um i it's did okay. but i don't know if i'll get in <laughs> so yeah at the end of this uh, we're gonna be going over tips on how to get a reservation to get into glacier national park and to get last minute Camping campsites spots. which these things usually book months ahead of time yeah. and people really struggle with it, but we really haven't had an issue. So stick around. 4.07 actually. Hi, we are 4.07 miles in. Um, we just stopped to have some cheese snack. It's our first snack of the day. And this is actually Josephine Lake. Yeah, we lied before. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's that one. So the other one was what? Flip something? Yeah. Current, I don't know. Um, but yeah, first snack break. Hey, bear. the trail now. This right here is Grinnell Lake and we have to make it all the way up there to the glacier. Okay. 
All right, second snack break. We just had some brownie brittle. Um, we've hiked about five miles. We just ran into Andres's, um, some ex coworkers of his that are also visiting the park. And they said that the hike is totally worth it, that they swam in there, that the water was freezing, <laughs> but it kind of gave us motivation to keep going because it's exhausting. Yeah, it's steep. Yeah. All right, so we're about six miles in. We haven't seen any wildlife, but a bunch of people have told us they've seen moose, bighorn sheep. We just passed by a ranger who pointed out a goat to us. So here she is. There she is. Apparently she has a little baby with her. We just see her. We don't see baby. Pretty cute though. And there's Andres. all right so right there you can see josephine lake which was the first lake we saw then we have grinnell lake and then there we have the glacier that we're walking to all right we're almost at the top of the hike and we ran into little goats again. I'm pretty sure they're the same ones. Oh, uh, they're very cute. But yeah, we, bought, we have about three-fourths of a mile left. Okay, we made it to the top. Exhausting. Such a difficult hike. There's Andres. And now we're just gonna go down to there. It's freezing cold. I don't know if I'm gonna get in. It's really cold. <laughs> But maybe we'll see. We made it. It's so beautiful. Holy shit. We made it. It's so incredible. Honestly, it's just so cool. It's very cold. We also just saw some ice break, which was so crazy. Like we yeah. actually just saw ice fall and then the whole lake just started rippling with waves. It was so cool. Um, it's very cold. I'm wearing my sports bra to kind of acclimate myself, but I'm really cold. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. <laughs> Still deciding. What do you think? It's pretty fucking sick, but also it's really cold. It's so cold. I don't know if it's, um... <laughs> I don't know if it's swimmable. <laughs> I'm appreciating it from up here. <laughs> Throw it in. Oh shit. Touch it? Okay. <laughs> How was it? You're cold. <laughs> My hands hurt. Should I get in? But it was really worth it. It's a, it's a, for me, it's a miserable experience going in there, so I'm happy here. <laughs> I don't know about you. I'm so cold right You now. haven't, you haven't experienced it yet. It sucks. <laughs> All right. So when we went to the, like the visitor center, we saw a movie about Glacier National Park. And we learned that these glaciers are predicted to be completely melted by 2030. So in seven years, they will be completely gone. And that sucks. So it's really beautiful and really amazing that we're able to see it to see them here before they're all gone so if you're planning on coming to glacier national park to see these glaciers you have seven years <laughs> before they're all gone um it's really cold and i really want to get in but it's also so cloudy there's like no sun here so I'm very conflicted i love getting in the water and i've never regretted getting in the water but this feels like i want to regret it i don't know yet like, look at how beautiful this is. So awesome. <laughs> Andres is wearing his patty. <laughs> what are you doing wearing your Patagonia? Take that shit off. Get in the water with me. <laughs> I just want to touch that glacier. I just want to touch it. Okay, go. Okay, I'm gonna go. Hey. My goal is to get to that glacier. But 
I might just wet my feet. <laughs> Let me get a cute picture. <laughs> I touched the glacier! It's a piece of ice. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. I hate this. All right, so I didn't get in. Uh, I really wanted to, but as soon as I put my toes in, they were in pain and they hurt a lot. And I was like, mm, I don't want this feeling in my whole body. And then I just didn't get in. Yeah, it's fine. I didn't do it. Um, and now we have seven miles. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> so walk down. The sun is setting behind us. Yeah, seven miles to get to the car. I feel like the bears are coming out. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's totally worth it. It's a really cool hike. So getting into Glacier National Park is not the easiest part to get into because they have this reservation system for each car that goes in. Yeah. And the park is like separated into like three different sections, three or four. So you need like a reservation for each section. Just to get into the park. Yep. So the way you get them typically is they'll release half of these uh, reservations a few months in advance i'm not really sure but we can't we can't plan that far ahead since we're in the van and we're like yeah everything is like yeah. decided on a whim exactly so they also release the second half of the reservations the day before at 8 a.m yeah. so what we do is we would wake up at 8 a.m day before on your sleep so at 8 yeah, yeah have an alarm for like 7 55 <laughs> and then get on that recreation.gov website and try to find the the link to reserve whatever it costs two dollars to reserve and i didn't really have a hard time it was just as long as you're there at 8 a.m like you're, you're pretty much gonna get it alternatively if you have a um a campsite reserved you don't need to have the road reservation for your vehicle and those reservations also fill out really fast for like the campsites yeah. But uh, also, we never do it, so we wait till last minute, and we're just constantly checking. Yeah. So whenever we have Wi-Fi, we go on the National Park Service app, and we just scroll, 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 look if there's availability, and we've yep. been able to find for all four days. Yep, we've never had an issue really. Like people are always dropping last minute, and I mean, it is very, very hard to plan in advance, though. Like we do it. We're staying tonight, and we don't have a spot for tomorrow. If we find one for tomorrow, we stay, and if we don't, we leave. Yeah, I mean, we have that flexibility with the van. Yeah. It's also different for us because since we have the our van we sleep in, we don't have to set up a tent every time. And right. we don't have to be like setting up, setting down in different campsites. So we just pretty much drive from spot to spot and it's really not an issue if you're in a van. Well, that's the secret. It's not much of a secret, but... It, it's been working for us. And the yeah. reservation system at Glacier may seem annoying, like at first glance, but we've been to many national parks and this system's awesome because the, pa the park is not packed at all like you can do the hikes and it's, it's just a reasonable amount of people which is really nice it really sucks going to a park and it's completely packed you're like stuck in traffic for two hours within the park yeah that's yosemite right there yeah that's not fun it's so, it's so beautiful but it feels like, like disney in there yeah so the reservation system is actually really nice yep and as a review for the park overall i think we'd say it's within our top three favorite national parks we've been to so far yeah so beautiful so relaxed also we were able to like swim in creeks with apollo yep i don't know it just seems very free very relaxed and also probably the most beautiful yep, it's awesome all right we just passed by a hiker who said that there's a mama goat on the trail so so Oh, there she is! <laughs> oh. Okay, cutie. Hey! So cute! How <laughs> are we gonna get past it? Okay, 
Okay, we kind of needed to get off the trail so we can go. But uh, he's being real slow. Okay, it's getting off the trail. But it's still kind of close to it. Let him take a couple more steps and then we'll go. Okay. We are almost done with the hike. We have about half a mile till we get to our car. Um, in total, it was a 14 mile hike <laughs> and it took us about eight hours. About, yeah. um, we were taking our time. Over 2,000 feet of elevation gain. Yeah. Um, an exhausting hike for okay. sure. Pretty hard hike. I'm gonna sleep good. Yeah. Uh, our legs hurt, our feet hurt, but it was like super worth it. Yeah, it was really beautiful. Got to see a lot of animals too, actually. Yeah, we did see a lot of animals. I do think that the the glacier lake at the end like makes it all incredible and worth it. It's also beautiful the whole way through with all the lakes. Yeah. So highly recommend doing this. Got to see the moose. Got to see some bighorn sheep. Some, some mountain goats. goats. Yeah. A bunch of chipmunks. We didn't see a bear at all. Yeah. Um, that's okay. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed our vlog. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe.